When we get started backpacking, we get out there with what we know. Sometimes we nail our gear down right from the beginning. At other times, we realize we need to upgrade. Today, we're gonna talk about the gear I wish I had when I started backpacking. Let's get into it. What's going on guys, John Kelly here, and I wanna share with you guys seven pieces of gear that I wish I would have had when I got started backpacking. And the very first piece of gear on this list is a table. Now, I know I've talked about this in other videos, but I'm telling you, I started backpacking with a table a few months ago, and the usefulness of a table on trail cannot be understated. Having a nice place to set your water down or your meal down as you're sitting around the fire, having something in the vestibule of your tent where you're able to set uh, items that you want in the morning where you can boil water for your coffee right there in the vestibule without having to worry about it sitting on uneven ground. Those things make these tables so great. This table in particular is from Helinox. I'll put a link below for that. This table has been great. It weighs about 10 ounces. So this is not like if I'm doing a week long trip or something, I'm probably not using this table. I've got a table that I've used in some other videos and I'll put a link for that below. Uh, that only weighs about two ounces. I love this one though because of how high it sits. Now you can't even tell, can you? But this thing sits up right about uh, 12, 15 inches. I'm not real good with numbers if you haven't figured that out yet. Having a table like this is definitely a luxury item, but I will say when I'm at camp and I'm hanging out with my buddies, having a table like this, you quickly become a, a person that everyone else is jealous about when you're on trail. The next item on this list is actually what's on this hat and that's the Zolio satellite communicator. I've talked about this a dozen times on this channel and I will continue to talk about it. This thing is fantastic. I've used it in so many situations uh, where there was absolutely no phone coverage and this came through for me every time. From giving me accurate weather reports to giving me communication with my wife and knowing that I'm an SOS button away from being able to get a hold of my family makes this thing invaluable. If you wanna find out more about the Zolio Satellite Communicator, I've got a link for that below. Also, a link below for a past couple of reviews that I have done on this item. Uh, this is something worth checking out if you're looking for some form of satellite communications when you're out on trail. The next item on this list is one that I just started using about a little over a year ago, and now I am not turning back, and those are fanny packs. Um, this one by Chicken Tramp or this one by Hilltop Packs. Both for me have specific uses, but both are fantastic. I've taken both on multiple trips and both have done an amazing job. Uh, one of the great things about a fanny pack as opposed to your typical pockets is the ease of access. Having a pocket directly in front of you, not having to do that awkward side zip thing where you're trying to get things in those pockets. There is not a backpack around that has easy zip pockets. It just doesn't exist. But with, with fanny packs, you have the ability to reach right in front of you and have a huge space where you're able to keep snacks, headlamps, cameras, whatever it is that you wanna have easy access to while you're out on trail, it's right there. And so for me, fanny packs are one of those things that I wish I would have known about from the beginning because I would have been using these on every trip from the very beginning. The next item on this list is shockingly enough, a tent. It's the Gossamer Gear of the Two. Now, full disclosure, I do not prefer tents over hammocks. I never have. Um, as a matter of fact, I kind of hate tents. But when I was doing the Shell Toey Trace and I was just getting started, had I had a tent like this, I would have been in heaven. This one weighs a touch less than my original tent, which was the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL2. The Gossamer Gear of the Two is so easy to set up. It's massive on the inside and it's insanely light. Plus you don't have to carry a bunch of poles that you have to connect. It simply uses my trekking poles. This thing has made setting up for camp so easy. And when I was doing a long trail, it would have been nice to have something kind of like this instead of what I was using before. Uh, the ease of setup, uh, the massive amount of space on the inside and two side doors, which for me is everything. I was getting inside and out of that doggy door that they have at the front of the Fly Creek and hated it. This is the complete opposite. If I would have had this when I was doing the Shell Toy Trace, I would have been a much happier camper. Up next is another item that I personally have been in love with for a few years now. One that has saved my feet time and time again, and I've talked about on this channel multiple times, 
And those are toe socks. Uh, these are obviously from Njinji. Uh, I have been a fanboy of Njinji ever since they saved my pinky toes. I've mentioned multiple times on this channel that I have toes that just sit on top of each other. And as a result, if I hike anything over 10 miles in a day, I'm getting blisters on my toes and getting them in the most awkward, uncomfortable places. Having these toe socks has saved me in a huge way. They've kept my feet comfortable uh, because of the material they're made out of, they're sweat wicking, so my feet aren't always soaking wet from sweat at the end of the day, especially if it's hot in the summertime. And most importantly, they are protecting those toes from rubbing up against each other. I know a lot of people think they're weird, they're not comfortable, it's not something you wanna do. That's okay, you do you, but for me, I wish from the very top, I would have had these and my early backpacking experiences would have been a whole lot better. Literally, for all backpackers when we first get started is we try to find the right puffy jacket. And I've tried several over the last few years, but the one that I personally love right now and I wish I would have discovered early on is this one from Enlightened Equipment. This is the Apex hoodie. Uh, one of the things I love about this is the type of insulation that it uses. It uses an Apex insulation, which is insulation that is laid out in a sheet. Now, if you're using down insulation, it's feathers, and those feathers are put into baffles. But everywhere where there's a baffle, there's a sewn area, and everywhere where there's a sewn area, there's a line with no insulation. There's also a line that has little pinholes where all of the stitching goes in. And with something like this, while it looks like a giant trash bag, it's not gonna win any, uh, any fashion awards. There are no baffles at all on here. This is just a flat surface, meaning the less stitched areas, the less areas for draft to get in. Your 950 fill down is probably still gonna be warmer than this, but living in Kentucky, I don't get in super cold weather. So this does a phenomenal job. It's super lightweight. I think this weighs 10 ounces, maybe 11 ounces. Uh, really lightweight material. It's a pullover with a giant, and this is the, this is so cool. You've got this giant pocket. This thing also goes pretty deep. It's a huge pocket. It gives you the opportunity to keep a lot of stuff in there. It's also a great place to put your hands to keep them warm when you're hiking. It's almost like the hand warmers that you see quarterbacks in the NFL using. It just gives you a space, even with your backpack on, where you can get your hands in there and keep them warm and it's built right into the jacket. I would have loved to have had something like this early on. I've been wearing this one for almost a year now and it's going with me all the time. And honestly, they're priced pretty reasonably for what they are. So if you wanna check them out, there's a link below. You can go check out Enlightened Equipment. See if you wanna get one of these. You can customize them in any colors you want. And uh, yeah, I love this thing. And the last item on this list is this thing right here. This is the alpaca hoodie from Appalachian Gear Company. I have been wearing one of these now for almost a year, and this has become one of the most versatile pieces of gear that I own. Uh, in warmer weather, in the mornings, you can wear this thing out to start hiking, and you're not gonna sweat a ton, and you're not gonna get overly hot. It will help you with that early morning coolness, but it breathes exceptionally well. It's also great to layer with a raincoat if you don't have a puffy jacket, to keep yourself warm. I actually did this just as a trial run to see how it would do last weekend in uh, in North Carolina when I was down at Linville Gorge. And this thing did an incredible job of keeping me warm with just this and a rain jacket. Um, excellent for layering, excellent for comfort. During the, the fall, winter, spring months, I probably wore this thing to work like two or three times a week. It's super comfortable. It looks good. I think they just look nice. Another big thing about this is the fact that it's hypoallergenic. I've had this now for almost a year and uh, don't tell anybody this. I think I've washed it once and it really doesn't stink. That's the, that's the crazy part about it. It really is hypoallergenic. I don't know what it is about alpaca. Apparently alpaca don't stink. It is hypoallergenic, so it keeps the stink off of you. It doesn't smell horrible. The only time it does get a little funky smelling is when it gets wet. But if you're out in the rain and you're wearing this, that's probably not the brightest thing in the world. So this has been one of the most versatile, useful, favorite items of mine of the past year. And probably of all seven of these items, this is probably my favorite one. I love the hoodie. I'm actually wanting to get another one soon. I told my wife she could just buy me one for Christmas, one for my birthday, one for Father's Day, Hanukkah, Halloween. She could get me one for our anniversary. Let's just say 
I'm a fanboy of this thing and uh, I can't suggest it enough. It is a touch pricey, I'm not gonna lie. It's not an inexpensive piece of gear. It took me almost a year to get my hands on one of these because they sell out so fast. But I will say this is one of my favorite pieces of gear that I've ever owned and it's probably my favorite piece of gear right now. So did you like the video? Did you find the content worth your while? Give it the thumbs up and let that YouTube algorithm know what's going on so more people can see the video. Also, leave some comments below. What are some of the pieces of gear that you guys love now that you didn't even know about when you got started backpacking? And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you find out anytime one of these videos drops. And until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I will catch you on the next go-round.